Hey everyone, so today I've got another flip for sale on Craigslist. I got this little vintage metal desk for free. And I just want to kind of make it a little bit of a cutesy project. I think it'll be pretty easy. Since it's metal, I'll be using spray paint. And I'm going to try out some like laminate for the top. Um, just a peel and stick type. Um, a little bit higher quality though and yeah I think this will be fun. So stick around and see how we can transform this desk. So just as a rule of thumb before I paint furniture over any other finish I always just give it a quick sand. Um, I'm not super familiar with painting with spray paint and how good it is at sticking to other surfaces but just to be safe I went ahead and gave it a quick sand with a high grit sandpaper. So now that my paint is all roughed up, um, I'm gonna give it a quick wipe down with a damp cloth before I spray paint. And I will let that, um, I will let the whole piece make sure that it's completely dry before I start with in with my paint. Okay, so I went ahead and taped everything down and just masked off all the surfaces that I didn't want my paint to get on. Now I'm going to go in with some paint primer and cover all the places that I plan on painting. Then I'm going to go in with probably a couple coats of my color spray paint. And give it a nice shiny new paint job. the tabletop I'm going to be using this self-adhesive vinyl. Um, it's in a marble pattern that I found on Amazon and I'm also going to be using an X-Acto knife and then I just wrapped a credit card in tape um, partially for privacy but also I wrapped around the edge that I'll be scraping along the vinyl so that way it won't um, be too sharp and leave scratch marks on the surface. This vinyl does have kind of a glossy surface and it will show those scratch marks so I was hoping the tape would kind of soften that a little bit. So I'll be sure to link the marble laminate that I used down below but I was super excited to try this out and um, I've been seeing it everywhere and have thought it was so cute and I was glad to be able to use it on one of my projects. So it's pretty straightforward you just need to stick it down onto your surface nice and flat. Um, I started with one edge and then it took me a little while to fiddle faddle with it before I got it all straightened out but then you just smooth it down and um, I tried to work slowly once I kind of got it started. I just pulled on the paper underneath and slowly smoothed it out as I went and I just used my little card to um, scrape out any little air bubbles. You don't have to push that hard. It works pretty well to just kind of scrape the air bubble out to the edge and out from under your laminate. One tip I would definitely highly recommend is to make sure that there is absolutely no speck of dust on your um, surface before you stick this down. I had wiped mine down, but I had missed just one or two little specks of whatever was on it and you could see a little bump on the finished laminate so I had to kind of peel it up and scratch that thing off and fiddle with it so just a tip make sure there's absolutely nothing on your surface before you start other than that I was really impressed with this stuff it's you can't tear it um, it's pretty strong and sturdy and durable so I think it'll last quite a while on this desktop For the edges, I 
went ahead and trimmed around with a scissor fairly close to the edge and then I just went ahead and finished it all off really nicely with a brand new X-Acto knife with a very sharp blade. I wanted all the edges to be really smooth so I made sure my blade was nice and sharp. And so I just went all the way around the edge using the edge of the desk as a guide and just trimmed off all the excess laminate. For the final touches, my desk got another fancy paper and tape makeover and then I grabbed my metallic gold spray paint and just hit the bottoms of the legs and the top edge of the desktop. I did leave an overlap over the laminate top that I added, the marble top, just a sliver of overlap where the paint would spray onto it. I didn't know if this would help seal up and protect the edges, but if nothing else, this did give the desktop a really finished look. 